How we doing guys? Just a little uh, how to when you're making things like this cupboard behind me that we've just built and you're making your boxes. Now I don't use dowels because I just screw and put decal panels on that hides all the screws. But just a little how to when you're building your boxes because obviously it can be quite tricky especially when you're talking like nearly three meter lengths of board or whatever. What I tend to do is I use a pin gun so what I do is I'll hold these two square and then I'll put, once I'm, flat, once I'm happy there and I'm happy here, I'll bung a pin in. And then I'll do the same down the bottom, square and flush the bottom up and put a pin in. Always make sure your face, you always start with your face. This is my face because the back I've routed to put an inset board in. As you can see on this one, we've got an inset. It's stepped in, routed out. So the backboard sits in and the whole lot is flush. So always start with your front, that way you know if, you, if, you, if your boards aren't accurately cut, you can, you can lose a couple of minutes at the back, no one's going to notice. But you want your fronts nice and flush. So once you've pinned it, then countersink, always countersink, and use the correct countersink for the size screws you're using, and make sure you go in to both boards. Because what will happen is you'll go through this one, and this one will just split, because you're going in for the side of the end, you have to get a good fixing, so from splitting, make sure you countersink. And you just repeat the process on all four corners using a square making sure you get this reasonably square i mean at the moment you will get some play but once your backboard goes in you must make sure it's square i hope this helps you getting your diy projects together don't forget to like follow and subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, i'll see you soon in future tiktoks bye bye